Okay, uh, number four here is asking us, rank these systems in terms of decreasing entropy, rank from highest to lowest entropy. Okay, so I have this number four. So we want from highest to lowest entropy. And then that's about it. So it, well, how many things do we have here? Oh, yeah. oh, this is a long question. I have part B and part C. Wow. Okay, so I might have to actually just go through the solution here. And uh, I might not be able to do it in time. So I can well, I want to get through 10 questions. But let me just write some of this stuff down. So it says neon gas, half a mole, half a mole um, of neon gas, half a mole of liquid neon. And th these have different uh, temperature changes here, right? So I have one that's at, at uh, 273 Kelvin, one at 20 liters, and then one at 100, um, 100 Kelvin, and I don't know how many liters as well. And then I have kind of other uh, compounds as well. So this is we're talking about terms of an entropy here, right? It's asking, and then part B is asking us to classify each process by individual effect um, of the on the entropy of the universe. And then you have these guys here. I have to classify them by entropy. And then part C is asking us to predict the sign of delta S for each process. And then you get chemical compounds here. So let's see. Let's, let's so let me just go ahead and look at the solution just for the sake of time. And I'll kind of explain the thought process that they have here. So this is entropy is measure of disorderness. The higher disorder, the higher the entropy. So this solution here is correct, right? So this is from going from highest to lowest entropy here. So it's saying here one mole, um, one mole here is, so one mole, obviously, if you have the larger the compound, the more entropy uh, it can create, right? The more messiness or the more, the bigger mess it can create, right? So therefore, uh, all the one mole, one mole solutions would be at the top here because it's, again, if I, if I have more of a substance here, it can create more disorder, right? So you said, so uh, basically, I have one mole from one to four, and now I'm, I'm ranking them by volume first. The higher the volume, as you can see, 40 liters and 40 liters, the higher the volume, again, the more space it has to create uh, create entropy. So again, 40 liters will also be a correct. And then finally, because it's in constant temperature, we care about basically the chemical structures. We have neon, um, we have fluorine gas, and CS2, right? So neon, obviously, because it's a noble gas, Neon doesn't uh, doesn't like to react with anything, right? So if it does react, it's going to create a very a, like it's going to measure of uh, it's going to produce a high measure of disorderness, right? So one mole of neon gas at two seventy three Kelvin at forty liters is correct. Finally, we have um, and then secondly we have F two, right? F two is again a diatomic molecule for fluorine as well. This is very very stable as well. So if I want to again break this apart, it's going to again uh, release a lot of energy here. So again, it'll be uh, it'll be it'll create a high disorder. And then finally, CS2 here is uh, is next because I have, um, um, again, it's the last one that has basically a higher volume and um, and uh, it's going to be basically, it's it's if I draw this guy here, it's basically, um, some, it looks, CS2 looks like this, carbon disulfide. And if I break this apart again, it's going to create a, it has room to create a uh, high order of disorderness, right? So this here uh, makes sense for the first three rankings. And then finally, four, five, and six, again, it's lower volumes, as you can see. Um, uh, and then also lower, uh, lower concentrations or lower, um, sorry, no, lo lower moles. So it, I don't, it's a smaller compound. So again, I don't have as much, so I can't create much disorder. And as you can see, we have the neon gas again as first because neon gas is a noble gas. And we have half a mole of neon gas, which is good. And then finally, a neon gas at a lower temperature at 100 Kelvin and um, 20 liters. And finally, at a liquid form, is going to create the least amount of disorder because it's in liquid form. The molecules are more um, tightly bound together, so they're a lot slower. So therefore, it creates uh, less of a mess here. So A here is correct. Great ranking. That's good. Number two is asking us... Um, I think they skipped part B here. So part B is asking us uh, classify each process. So I don't even know what the classification is here on the entropy, but we can go through this. So it says here, a process run infinite, infinitesimally, uh, slowly at equilibrium or reverse to its original state. It says here, a constant composition, composition mixture of solid and liquid at standard temperature pressure, STP. Motion of frictionless pendulum, a bag of red marbles and a bag of green marbles bumped, dumped together on a tabletop, evaporation of water from a cup, isothermal expansion of a real gas here. 
So I don't think, I don't know if it's like high entropy or low entropy. I really don't know what the question is asking here for part B, but I'm gonna move on to part C here. So it's asking us to predict the delta S for each process. And as you can see here, uh, you have water um, going towards um, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas here. So again, number of moles here are, is being increased, right? So hence delta S also increases. You could think of this as, a, this is simply just the hydrolysis of water, right? I'm breaking down one component. I'm decom it's a decomposition, decision, decomposition reaction, sorry. And I'm going from one thing to more things, which means that um, my my delta S is going to be positive, which is good. And then finally, I have iodine gas going to iodine solid. Physical state is changing from gas to solid. Entropy is decreased due to decrease in the disorder. This is correct as well, right? Because I'm thinking of a gas here. It's basically, if you if you go back to kind of um, particle theory, gas is kind of, gas molecules have a very, very high speed. It takes up more volume. If I, uh, bring it to a solid state here, it's going to be very much more compact. So therefore it's going to decrease in disorder. So I'm gonna say solution here is correct. Missing um, part part B is, part B of the question is misleading as to what it is asking, but part A and C are both correct here. So I'm gonna say the solution is correct because the part B, I really don't know what part B is trying to ask us here. When we say classify each process, I don't know what uh, it's asking here. So I'm gonna say for the sake of time, solution here is correct. Uh -huh.